Are you a psychic or a medium and talking about the end of times? I value those psychics and mediums and intuitives and little baby seers who are talking about the end of times. I value that because when you listen to them, they're trying to provide a caveat. They're trying to provide a warning. They're trying to be of assistance to you. But let's talk about the damage that that can actually create. We are at this point in our human development where we can actually understand that we can validate and substantiate what happens when large groups of people put thought and process into one idea. Meaning that the more thought we put into the end of times, the more likelihood it is for us to put more density into that timeline manifesting. So the warning system, as much as I feel like it is well-intentioned, the quixotry of that is actually damaging because we're bringing more attention and awareness to the fact that there are some timelines that manifest about the end of times. But there has always been an end of times. <laughs> Look into our history, the, the prophets, the prophetess, and the seers, the individuals who focus on the end of times will always be a manifestation. So if we know that we can measure and validate change that happens in a space when large groups of people put focus on it, then why aren't we putting, putting <laughs> focus, then why aren't we putting focus inward on the things that create change of those kinds of manifestations happening? That's what I want to do. That is developmental work. And that is actually teaching other individuals how to be in control of the outcomes of their timelines.